What is going on guys? Welcome back to Naked and Afraid. I'm kidding. This is not Naked and Afraid. Although, although, you may end up seeing me in my skivvies later because I am doing some overnight ice camping. Uh, I'm in my Yeti fish house right now. Just getting set up here fishing on Northern Wisconsin Reservoir. Um, and yeah, I uh, just drilled some holes. I kind of crept my, my way out here. Uh, checking ice conditions as I went since this is a flowing body of water and uh, we're in about 14 feet of water I would have maybe liked to be a little deeper, but it was dark getting set up. So um, I Kind of played it safe, but yeah, we got the mega live going We got some holes drilled because I'm in Wisconsin. I'm able to fish three lines So I plan on having a jigging stick a dead stick and then a rattle reel towards the back of the house and uh, Yeah, as you guys probably saw from uh, the time lapse I'm going to lay over the top of this. I used uh, the new DeWalt mud mixer. It's a flex volt tool. Um, awesome, awesome auger setup. I'm hoping to do a review on that later this winter, but man, that thing cuts through like butter. I wanted the biggest cage drill I could get. I've ran into issues with burning out other DeWalt drills uh, in the past, so I went with the biggest possible um, DeWalt drill mud mixer combination, whatever you want to call it, that I could get, and it's just awesome. So look for a video on that later on. But uh, yeah, I should also mention, as you probably saw, new merch. Um, if you want a hat, send me a message on Facebook or Instagram or text me if you have my number and uh, we'll work something out. I'll try and get you a hat. They're going to go quick, I think. I'm probably going to have to place another order already, but if you're interested, please let me know. And uh, otherwise, hopefully you enjoy this episode. We're going to see if we can't put some Sager and Walleye topside for you guys. Stay tuned. Dead stick. So again, I take. I might have it. Oh. oh, that's a good mark. Damn it, that's a good mark. Oh, I have it. No. Oh. He's 
mouth in it. His mouth in it. Looks like a good mark. fish. There we go. That is what I'm talking about. Beauty. Just a beautiful sauger. And that's what we're looking for out here. The goal, which I haven't mentioned yet, is a 22 to 23 inch sauger, which would be an exceptional sauger. Or 30 inch walleye so we're gonna see what we can make happen here but man he played with that minnow for what seemed like ever before he uh, actually took it beautiful fish we're gonna get him back okay guys so <clears throat> I want to show you how I like to rig my dead stick here let me uh, I'm trying to learn this whole new camera thing so before I get into the dead stick one of the things that I wanted to do for my YouTube channel this year as a goal was learn how to use the better camera equipment that we have. Some of you may know this, some of you don't. My wife was a professional photographer for a number of years so we have really good camera equipment and it's just honestly so convenient to just pull your cell phone out and record with that but I'm trying to get good with the big camera so I have the big camera up right now. Um, but let me try and flip this thing around and show you guys how I like to rig up my dead sticks. Okay, not sure how well you can see that. This is an Akuma bait feeder reel. Um, absolutely incredible reel for a dead stick setup. As you can see here, this little clicker back here, if you flip it back, it goes into full drag mode. So it engages your actual drag on your reel. If you flip it forward, what it allows you to do is effectively run this reel like a rattle reel. So a fish can grab the line and basically just run with it if it wants real gradually. Um, you can set various drag settings on that. It's absolutely incredible for a dead stick rod. Um, the rod I'm using here is a tuned up custom. Let me see if I can get this to focus on this tip here. Tuned up custom. I don't know if it's going to. Yep, I'm struggling a little bit here. Um, it is a tuned up custom dead stick rod, 36 inch. I like a longer dead stick rod personally. Uh, I'm trying to zoom out here, see if that'll focus better. But what I like to do is actually run this. If this will focus. Right there. What I like to do is run an octopus hook. I believe this is a size number six. I find that works really well uh, for walleyes, saugers, uh, and the like. Um, and I, what I do on this dead stick is I actually run braid all the way down it. Tie the braid to a swivel. If that'll focus for me. Tie it to a swivel and then I run a fluorocarbon leader with a bell sinker. Put halfway up. That ultimately then goes down to that octopus hook. Um, there is, I guess, various ways to kind of rig up your minnow. What I like to do with my minnow on a dead stick or a rattle reel is actually hook it through the belly, like right down the middle of the minnow. 
a fat head, shine or whatever you're using, I like to just nick it right through the belly so it sits upside down and that minnow is always trying to right itself all the time. Um, I found it just keeps them more active so they don't get lazy. Um, and generally speaking, then it looks like a wounded bait fish in the water. And I've had a lot of success doing that. That's been by far my best method for, I guess, catching walleyes and saugers on a, on a dead stick or a, a rattle reel. So hopefully that tip will help you put more fish topside. Folks, update time here. Uh, first thing, I'm realizing I'm going to need to get a wider angle lens if I'm going to do this in selfie mode. This is like ridiculously stretched out right now just to get my head in there. So lens upgrade is going to be needed. Um, the next thing is, <clears throat> you know, it's been a little slow as far as an update. And I love to pass the time by showing you guys like some cooking or something like that on how I'm going to survive out here, but the reality of the situation is, is I packed up in about 15 minutes this afternoon to get out here. Um, I was a little concerned about ice conditions and slush and snow and whatnot with some snowstorms that we had this week, but irregardless, I didn't bring much, so as it relates to fine dining and uh, ice camping cuisine, this is what we're having tonight. That is cheddar cheese on chips that I'm going to heat up and melt in the microwave and make, I don't know, effectively poor man's nachos. That's about all I brought, so it should be interesting to see if uh, we can actually survive the full weekend. I'm uh, not sure that we can, so we may have to catch some fish. We may have to do a fish fry uh, just to sustain life here in the uh, Yeti Fish House, but... Um, we'll see. The bite's been slow. Maybe we won't catch enough to eat. Tomorrow we'll tell. Uh, I've never fished this at night, so it'll be interesting to see kind of if there's a night bite. It's been pretty slow. Fish are chasing, as you guys have seen, probably in some of the B-roll clips that'll play throughout this. But uh, no takers. So hopefully the morning bite is better for us because it's been slow right now. But yeah, stay tuned. Hopefully there'll be some uh, some more action for you here shortly.
all tangled in my deucer. It's coming up the hole backwards. What's funny guys is I was, as I spill water all over my leg, I was literally just debating on going to bed. But maybe they're going to start biting. Beautiful little sauger. They're pretty little fish. And that's exactly what we're after. Okay guys, um, <clears throat> I just caught that fish on a rattle reel and usually what I like to do with my rattle reels is I like to put them maybe a little bit further away from my jigging holes and my dead stick holes. Um, and the reason for that is just to kind of do something a little different, right? When you're actively jigging and then you have a dead stick right next to it, it's oftentimes helpful to put another set line further away if you're able to do so. Uh, Minnesota you obviously can't, Wisconsin you can, but what I caught that fish on was actually this, this is a combination of two different brands. This mount here is called Undercover Guide, and this rattle reel is an ultimate rattle reel. Um, absolutely incredible products. The ultimate rattle reels are really nice because they're small, they stow away really well, and they, uh, they have really good bearings in them, so those fish cannot feel that there's a line there. What I like about the undercover guide is these actually will flip and set in multiple different positions and what's great about them is when they're set up and ready to go they sit below the floor in your fish house as you can see. And the beauty of that is we have two golden retrievers so anytime we go out ice fishing and we want to have set lines down we need to ensure that the dog's tails aren't in the rattle reel lines. If you have kids, you can actually have a cover over the top of this to conceal it. And then your kids aren't in your lines. They're not stepping in the holes. Um, it's a very, very clean product. I highly recommend them. Uh, they're based out of southern Minnesota. Super great people. Uh, make a hell of a product with the undercover guide there. And uh, yeah, I couldn't rec couldn't recommend them highly enough. Um, it's the only route, in my opinion, to go if you're an able-bodied individual can bend down to flip it up and whatnot uh, as far as as uh, rattle reels are concerned really like them check them out I'll add links below in the description below to both of these brands um, great products and hopefully it'll help you put more fish topside weekend like you ruin a spot by telling people where it is oh my no you yeah you just can't even if you trust people you can't oh got one <laughs> wow or we're sitting here talking you just can't tell them you just can't tell people where it is there we go got him what a beauty big one i think you're good luck what is the chance? Hang on, hang on, I gotta, I gotta tell the folks at home what just happened. Okay. This is the nicest one I've caught for sure. There we go. Another beautiful fish here on the phone with my wife. And that's usually how it goes. You take a phone call, before you know it, you got a fish on.
All right, folks, it is time for me to go to bed. I'm about to put my teeth in the glass and uh, make some coffee here so it's ready to go in the morning, and we'll get back after it tomorrow. Um, three fish. It's been relatively slow, a lot of chasers, a lot of fish falling baits up real high. Uh, two fish on set lines, one on the dead stick, one on the rattle reel, and then I caught that last one jigging, um, which was probably the nicest of the three. But... Uh, regardless, we are uh, going to get some sleep. We'll check back in the morning, and we will uh, try to put some more fish topside for you. Take care. Good night.